Hi everyone, it's Gail Scott here, channeler, and I want to talk today about a message that's come in regarding all of these changes and energetic shifts that are going on on our planet. This message is actually a really cool one. It talks specifically about the connection between us and Earth and also us and each other. And so the, the guides that have come through in this message are just, they're starting off by confirming that our world is evolving into a different state, a different dimension, a different realm. And for those of you who've been following my videos, you'll know that I do speak regularly about this shift between 3D, 4D and 5D. And that's what they're talking about there. And they're acknowledging that there's a lot of upheaval going on right now on the planet's surface. And that that's really indicative of some of the changing and shifting that's going on within the planet itself. So she is a living organism, planet Earth, Mother Earth that we live on. And she's morphing and changing and becoming an upgraded version with this dimensional shift that we're going through. And so the structure that she inhabits herself, so we all have, you know, a cellular structure and we're moving into what's called a crystalline structure and Mother Earth is also moving into this new structure. So right now she's going through a lot of molding and morphing and melding within every cell of her being. And of course, this is something that we as humans on the planet are also being impacted with. And so if you're feeling tired um, right now, then that makes a lot of sense because there's a lot of energetic shifts happening right now on the planet. Now, the shifts that are happening within Mother Earth, these are not something that we can generally see with our naked eye. They're happening at a kind of a molecular structure. Even with our microscopes, it's also very difficult for us to really see the level and the nature of the shifts that are actually happening within the structure of the planet. Um, but do know that these vibrational shifts are definitely happening and they're here to create change uh, within the planet and on the surface of the planet. And so if you think about the ocean and when there is a swell beneath the surface of the ocean, eventually that inner energy has to be manifested on the surface. And so we are experiencing these changes right now on the surface. Um, we're seeing so much turmoil, so much change. We're experiencing it all from a personal level. And so, you know, we call it war, but uh, I'm being told that this is really a warring energy. And it appears to be chaotic, um, but it's not. They're telling me that it is actually a, a structural shift that's happening, a repatterning. And of course, as I mentioned, it's not just uh, on the earth level and um, the physical level, the matter level, but it's happening vibrationally. And so this is happening vibrationally within the planet and then vibrationally within you and me, they're actually living on the planet. So the atmosphere around our planet is changing the the energetic frequency of the earth's core its surface its its matter the the earth part of it is also changing and because we are made of her and we live on her we are naturally going to be impacted by that so if you are feeling some of these changes right now you're right on target um, you're feeling exactly what's going on and so they've likened it to the, the idea that, you know, this is very turbulent, chaotic energy right now. And so imagine that you're going through a strong wind and you are you're desperately trying to hold on to your coat to keep you warm as this wind is blowing all around you, this turbulence that's in our midst. And so you're trying to hold fast to what you know, um, what you know to be true and what you know to be right. And yet here's the idea that you are battling this wind, but you're not alone. It, they're saying to me that when we come together, um, we'll be able to not so much form a wall against the wind, the change, the chaos, 
but more create a protection around ourselves. Not that there's going to be great damage that's going to occur, but just for us to be able to hold strong and to be able to get through this next period. And we are safe, even though it appears that everything is going crazy and we have war and we have all kinds of really hard experiences that are happening right now. This is because of all of the shifts and changes that are happening that have to happen on our planet in order for this vibrational and physical upgrade to happen. And so how do you approach your energy at this time? What do you do? It's critical that you recognize that you are able to have a certain experience based on how you cope with these changes. So if you are someone who tends to complain and curse and fight um, against that wind for blowing at you, um, you're going to have a very different kind of experience compared to, for example, a small child who goes out and runs and plays and flows with the wind energy. You know, a kid knows that the wind is strong, um, but they enjoy the turbulence of it. They, they hold themselves in that space and they, they allow themselves to either go with it or just to be strong in it. And sometimes they even laugh and play and have fun in it. Now, I'm not saying that that's what you should be doing if you're witnessing some really difficult experiences, um, but maybe there are opportunities where you can take things a little less seriously and just recognize that we're all in this together. We are all trying to get through this together. So another way that you can deal with this is to try to find some neutrality. And so that is not to be in that place where you are really angry and, and feel like everything is negative. That is a perception that you're having around this experience um, for people who are experiencing hardship or really difficult circumstances. And it's not that to not um, resonate with those people is to, is to make light of it or make it smaller. It's not about that. It's recognizing that we all have our challenges right now. We are all going through difficult emotional and physical experiences in our own part of the world. And some people are having it harder than others. And some people are being able to find themselves in a place of love, in a place of compassion. So it's really challenging right now. And very difficult, frankly, to even perceive of this higher dimensional energy, this higher consciousness. But if you can find your way to not judging any of these situations as you know good or bad and being attached to it, that it's pleasant or unpleasant, um, and just see that this experience is happening and you'll be having your own experience and someone somewhere else is having their own experience. And we can't really understand what is going on for them in the same way that they cannot understand what's going on for us. We really need to have our own experience of battling this wind and dealing with the chaos that our world is. It is, it is very challenging. And of course, we are not used to this level of conscious awareness, this, this shift in vibration that's happening because we have been in a vibration for 26,000 years. And that vibration um, has held us at a certain level of conscious awareness. And that is now shifting. You know, you're watching our world um, and you're seeing different experiences now. Uh, some of them, you know, very unfair and almost, you could say, dictatorial, um, where there's a power over versus a power empowering experience. And so you really have to stand in your own power and figure out how you can have an experience that is empowering for you. So... So what does that look like where you are? Uh, well, sometimes there's certain action that you can take in order to move into that place. 
Um, because standing and complaining about the wind is not going to shift anything around you. In fact, it's only going to attract more of the same. So it might mean in this experience that you as an individual um, are in a position where now you learn you have to stand up for yourself. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That might be part of your journey, part of your evolution, um, part of what your soul came here to experience. Um, it could be that your journey is actually to support those who do that. So you are an encourager. You're someone who appreciates those who are willing to stand up against this tyranny or dictatorial experiences or war. Um, and your acknowledgement of their courage could be something that allows them to feel more empowered. And so therefore, now you're taking a stand for them and you're taking a stand for you and you're taking a stand for everybody else that's having this experience. It might be that your, your kind of place in this whole experience is to hold the light. It's to do things like meditate. It's to bring wisdom and love and appreciation to everyone around you. Maybe you are someone who teaches people how to become calm, deal with stress, teach yoga, um, meditate, those kinds of things. And so what you're doing there is you're bringing in that new conscious energy of love, that higher vibration. And so you're not um, enabling or continuing the anger and the judgment and the fear. Because these lower vibrations of fear, um, these are not who you are. This is who you have learned to be based on our ancestral experience as humans on the planet. And that is changing. That is changing dramatically now. So now we're moving into a, a phase of really strong self-awareness um, where there's a capacity for you to be able to hold space and gratitude and love for yourself. And also, you know, not just for yourself, but for everybody else and for the experience that you're having and the experience that someone else is having. And they could be the same or they could be different. And so because everybody is experiencing their own kind of journey through this, uh, people are going to have different opinions from us. And they're going to have different characteristics that they take on and they'll take on different action. And so our job in this is to simply acknowledge the differences without judging them. Uh, you might even wish to express gratitude, if you can find that in your heart, for them showing you another level of humanity or a different way of dealing with things. Um, because what we're doing here is we are growing up as a species, as a humanity. We are, in a sense, you know, moving forward into something we've never been in before. And so we don't really know what it's going to look like, but everybody's having their own individual experience and no one person is right or wrong compared to anyone else. And so, you know, just like if you look at the colors of the rainbow, no one color is better than another. Um, no one color is right and the other one's wrong. And it's the same in the plant world. You know, a tree is no better than the little daisy that grows out of the grass. And, the, you know, the elephant is no better or more right than the dormouse that, you know, lives in the ground. So everybody's journey is unique. Everybody brings something different to it. Everybody's learning about themselves in their own personal experience as we're going through this. And so this message is really for to help you to try to figure out where you fit. And maybe if you're going to do something different from what you've done before, but know that because of these shifts, you're really energetically connected both to all the changes on the planet, but also to all the changes that everybody is experiencing and going through this. So it's turbulent and we are in the middle of it. And we're all having our own individual experience. And, you know, we, we want to be able to come into our hearts and we want to be able to bring empathy to the people that we meet and the experiences that we're seeing and recognize where it feels intrinsically right for us to shift into a newer vibration and what that might look like, what our soul is here to do at this time. And so, you know, bring compassion 
into other people's experiences that you're seeing um, and know that you know everybody's experience is different we're not all the same so all the experiences are not going to be the same and you really get into your heart into that heart space that is right here in your chest and where you can bring an, a neutrality and even a warmth to the understanding that you know there but for the grace of God go each one of us in every exp experience and know that you're dealing with your situation as best you can and that everybody else is dealing with their situations and the only way that they know how and can we have love and appreciation for each of them and and really stand together as a group as a collective as a unified force a unified field um recognizing that that is going to let's say win this war faster than anything so even if there are people out there doing things that you don't like or doing things different recognize that they're part of this too they're part of the chaos they're part of the shift they're part of the changes that are happening and that that vibrational shift is going to keep on shifting. And there's so many things that we don't see and we don't know yet. But over time, this is going to change our paradigm on the planet. And we're going to be in a whole new experience, a whole new reality on planet Earth. And we do have support. We have support within one another. We have support within ourselves. And of course, we have so much galactic support. Uh, that I'm always connecting into. So yes, these are still difficult times, my friends. There's no doubt about that. But as you take care of you and yours, and as you define what it means for you to be able to be empowered and either go with the flow of the wind or you know help someone else with it perhaps, or just stand strong, that's where you're really going to feel more grounded. Um, and it's, it's definitely a roller coaster ride that we're on right now. So I hope you've enjoyed this message. Um, if you would like to listen to the channeling, please join Mixcloud. Bosey International is the name of my page. I have over 80 different channelings on there about all kinds of things that you're welcome to look at. And also on my website, on my blog page, are the transcripts of all of the channelings. And so I send you lots and lots of love. And until next time, thank you for listening and watching.